So you were, I remember, let me go back a little bit, I remember you were telling me about how you were in elementary school and you had a teacher that you really liked. What was her name? Maureen Wade. Maureen Wade, and that, I can segue into my sister here. <laughs> <laughs> she was named after her elementary school teacher, so. Mm -hmm. I think it was spelled different, though. Oh, it was spelled different. <laughs> so. so, really right now, I just kind of wanted to open it up and just kind of, anybody wanted to kind of just share anything. That was my little timeline there. Uh, anybody wants to get up and share about anything that they remember about Joan or just a kind of a funny, special moment or... Or what, what does she mean to you? What does she mean? Anybody? Eva? Dan? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that? Oh. It says not fair for you to sneeze up on people. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dan's got a funny story. Okay. okay. When I was uh, seven years old, I used to go down to the renters. Renters? Yes. yes. The grocery store. Penny candy. One time I was down there, didn't really have enough change, and the guy behind me gave me a quarter. Here's a quarter. Pay for the rest here. So I go home, tell my mom, I have a bag for candy. Uh, a man behind me gave me the money. She just freaked out. <laughs> took money from a stranger? Give me that bag of candy. Right now. Like, okay. Next day she goes, here's your candy bag. <laughs> <laughs> She probably was in the mood that day, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my favorite. Here, how about a funny story for me? Actually, <laughs> kind of in the same venue, um, Renner's store, and... Renner's was really popular. Yeah. Yeah. Renner's was really popular. Renner's was really This would have been 1970, 75-ish. That's where Renner's was. But where was it? It's the little grocery store on... Uh, it's still there. Yeah, but it's called uh, Jiffy Mart. You ever seen that on 45th? Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jiffy Mart now, right? Is that the right name? Yeah. So at the time, um, I think I was still in grade school, and I had a, a friend, and she was always getting in trouble. When, and so she would go and shoplift at Brenner's store and she'd get away with it. And so one day I thought, well, maybe I should try that. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried it and um, I took a bag, uh, like a little M&M's &M. &M and uh, walked out of the store and the owner comes charging <laughs> out at me and he says, okay, you go home and I'm going to call your mother. And I don't know what's going to happen after that. And so I, I go home, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I shot the lift and I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> and she says, well, you, you better just be prepared for whatever happens. And fortunately, the owner never said anything <laughs> to anybody. <laughs> But it's scary and scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the microphone doesn't reach. Sandy, if you want to come up and do it? Arlene. Okay. Arlene, okay. Come on up, Arlene. I don't generally do this. <laughs> but I, I Neither do, do I, that's why. On behalf of Jerry, <laughs> because Jerry, uh, Jerry has a hard time hearing, and she wanted me to tell about this infamous trip okay. that Joan and Jerry and I and three other girls um, took to Vancouver, Washington. Uh, Vancouver, Canada, excuse me. Okay. And um, Do you I, remember when it was? Or? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, almost. But I can't remember if it was 51 or 52. <laughs> Were you still in school? Yeah, I think so. I was out. But I, and so it was the three of us, plus my sister and a friend of hers, and another friend of mine. And, I had this 41 Chev, which I bought for $500, and my folks didn't have a car at that time, hadn't had for ages. But anyway, uh, Jerry and Joan and I and the other three girls 
packed into this 41 ship. How we ever fit, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody was fat yet at that point. <laughs> still, anyway, so I was the only driver, and not all that experienced. And not only was a stick shift, which the young, I don't see the young ones here, they wouldn't even know what it is, also had vacuumatic whatever, it was another crazy, really made it fun when I was going up hills downtown and, you know, start to die or something. But anyway, we packed ourselves and whatever luggage we took, and I thought it would be a great idea to stop at Mount Baker, because it's right on the way up. So we went to Mount Baker first, and of course this 41 Chev was not exactly the greatest car around. This was a, I'm pretty sure it was 1951. You, Jerry would have just graduated if yeah, it was. Yeah. Could have been 52, but anyway, a long time ago, you know. And so we were going up Mount Baker, and naturally it overheated. I don't know how we got out of that jam, but somehow we did. I suppose somebody helped us or something. So then we still had a ways to go to Vancouver. And I don't think we had any reservation. I don't think we knew where we were going to sleep that night. <laughs> But luckily we found a motel that had a place big enough for six of us. And um, so it was pretty late by the time we got there. But um, I thought it would be great to go up, take the chair up, up Mount, Grouse Mountain, Grouse Mountain. And so we did that even late as it was. But I thought that was really, uh, we were lucky because when we were coming back down from the mountain then, it was probably about 10 o'clock, and it was a full moon. We could see all the lights of Vancouver, and uh, so it was really great. And then the next day, we had to do some sightseeing, of course, around Vancouver. I don't think any of us had ever been there before. I know I sure have. And um, so we went to, um, um, now I probably don't remember the name, you probably all heard of it. There's this park, oh, something canyon. Capilano? Yeah, Capilano Park. 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 Yeah, thank you, Father. And so we, and it has this wonderful bridge that you can walk across. Now I should be telling tales out of school, but I think my sister and I were the only ones who walked all the way across and back because four other girls seem to be a little bit chicken. <laughs> and I can't do anything. I, there's nothing athletic about me I could ever do. I was the worst. But for some reason, I wanted to do that. And I think my sister and I got all the way across and that. Then I think we went to a couple other parks. And um, I can't really remember exactly. Oh, yeah, the car heated up again, I think, when we were up to Grouse Mountain. Probably, yeah, heat it up again. But we survived somehow. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so that was, that was probably, well certainly the first time I got to know Joan on this wonderful, exciting trip, because Joan and Jerry have been lifelong friends. They were, I suppose, probably that high or something. I came into the picture a little bit later because um, uh, Jerry and I were not in the same class at the stadium. I was, and the one ahead of her, and she was um, in 51, and then Joan was in the same class as my sister. And so, but that's how I got to know Joan. Yeah, that's probably when we met, was that wonderful trip. And, and then since then, because they are such good friends, I've been privileged to know Joan through Jerry, because we get together maybe once a year, and we're lucky, and so, um, I have been very privileged to know Joan because of my lifelong friend Jerry, and um, so uh, I'm glad that she didn't ever hold the trip against me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is there anybody else that wants to share? Or oh, Sandy, Sandy does good. Hello. 
this one? Yeah. Uh, Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. I also know Joan through Jerry and Arlene through Jerry. And I've always heard of Dee. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and I know Peggy, and now I know Billy, and of course the kids. <laughs> and I met Joan when they lived in Puyallup a long time ago. Yeah. And um, then she was the phone operator at Good Sam down in the basement. And I moved over here 25 years ago from Idaho and experienced my first Nisqually quake. It scared the bejeebers out of me. And all I could think of was Joan in this basement of Good Sam. And I don't know, it just, um, this is a darling, darling woman. Very, very much loved. And uh, a very good friend. And the family is absolutely wonderful. Hi, Dan. <laughs> um, Dan. Just, uh, <laughs> just know you're all loved and I love you, Johnny. Thank you. Thanks. Oh.